I got a new job. Yay! Not so much, Dan. Both Dan and I know that to live with a disability is extremely expensive. And we talked a bit about that one aspect of, of the expenses is personal care. So if you rely on personal care uh, and you earn a certain amount of money, then it's on you to pay for it. So the, the reason I'm, I'm not so yay, the different um, benefit programs for people with disabilities perpetuate the poverty cycle for us. I mentioned that I'm gonna, I would need a really high paying job to, to get out comfortably and feel like, okay, we can, we can cover everything. Train time, train time. Everybody loves train time. Ah, ah damn. You love the train? Ah, damn. Yeah, I like the train too. They're nice people. Yeah, baby. Yeah, out of respect to my new employer, I can't say uh, exactly how much I'm, I'm earning, but it certainly is out of poverty level that we described, or at least the tight, restrictive income levels that we were experiencing uh, while on SSDI. But it's not quite enough. And I get off of Medicare. And I'm freaking out about that, guys, because, yeah. And, but Dan gets a new paid plan. It's a little bit cheaper than his private plan, so. Kudos, Dan, for you. No. And, and we get vision covered, so yay. Cheers. But, uh, but in terms of the, the durable medical equipment benefits, um, hospitalization stays. Yeah, uh, it's not good. It's not good. Um, I mean, I honestly want a, a new wheelchair. I don't know how much or how hard it's going to be to get my RISDAPLAM approved with this private insurance. <laughs> Dan doesn't seem to care. But, uh, uh, Dave okay, came. I'm just joking, Dan. And then also every month I get this equipment sent um, to maintain my cough assist, and uh, I'm 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 genuinely nervous about that. And uh, thankfully in Pennsylvania for our care, we can still remain on the personal care um, program Act 150, but. The, the amount that they charge us per month is likely going to go up. And all of these things add up, folks. And it makes me wonder, can I afford to work? I, I look back on my years working and being on private insurance and with my different employers and think, God, I was so lucky. Because first off, they were way better plans. I don't recall ever paying more than 2000 bucks for a new wheelchair. Now they're saying that they wouldn't even they wouldn't even pay um 80% of the cost and I have to pay my deductible first. Mm. The, the state of healthcare in this country for everyone, I think, is not good. Um when you have a lot of expenses like these, it's it's really not good. This just highlights how how hesitant I think a lot of disabled folks can get uh, when considering a job opportunity that to the average person would look really awesome and and a great opportunity but for them especially if they're on medicaid and medicare and they're getting all of those expenses paid for they wouldn't be able to leave i have heard though man that there are some like waiver programs 
and get waiver programs where you could earn a certain amount of money in certain states. But that's state specific and it gets complicated. I think for most people, they just don't even go there because they don't want to, they don't want the hassle. They don't want to get a new job, not because they don't want to work, but because of all that it entails. Uh, what do you have to say about that, Dan? And uh, I am a but I'm not work. You do work, though. I mean, that's another thing. I think where, where you get angry is you're getting doors in your face for job opportunities. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's like the paradox, too. It's like if you were getting benefits and somebody magically come up, came up and said, hey, we're, we want to offer you this $70,000 a year job, will you take it? You would probably second, like, really think hard about that and, and maybe not even take it. And I think a lot of, what? Um, well, I do love my modeling job. I think you can do it full time. I'm a model, you know what I mean, and I do my little turn on the catwalk. <laughs> <laughs> It's exciting, this, this, this job, and I, I wish that um, it, it totally solved all of our financial problems or issues, rather. I'm trying to be um, optimistic, but to, to, to say that it'll allow us to buy a house, it'll allow us to afford our care privately, it will allow us to um, pay all of our bills? No, it won't. Not yet. So that's why we have to keep on with the Ginchiest. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and keep striving for a better. Oh gosh, it's gonna sound so corny. Better tomorrow. Okay. But I want to hear from from the the viewers if you receive benefits in the u.s or even in your own country if they have a similar restriction system do you say to yourself i'm, I'm not gonna take this job i'm not gonna i'm not gonna leave my benefits because it's gonna be too complicated it's gonna be too difficult let us know let us know in the comments all right keep it genji until next time ciao